Hector's alibi checks out. He was at Lady of Mercy Nursing Home visiting his mom when Peter was killed. Mysterious financial transactions, a deal so dangerous he needed a gun. Seems to me there's a lot more to your sister's star witness than she knew. Than she knew, or than she chose to tell us about. Sir? Yo, I talked to the manager at Swiss Federal. He confirmed that a bank account with those numbers exists, but he refused to give out any information on it. Did he at least acknowledge it was Peter Cadero's account? He couldn't, because he didn't know himself. It's a numbered account set up for privacy, so the only way that anyone can access is with a password. So there's no way to know what Cordero is doing? No. Unless... Six digits? Seems kind of passwordy to me. Okay, read it to me. 723-598. Come on. We're in. Cancel, you've done it again. What's it say? The balance is zero dollars. Zero dollars? That doesn't seem very dangerous. Feels like the end of a treasure hunt where you open up the chest and it's just full of sand. Wait, go to the day Mr. Nunez claims he did the transfer. March 21st. Oh my God, $25 million. Whoa. that's some expensive sand. Looks like it came into the account the day before at 8.34 in the morning and then Hector transferred it out. A secret $25 million transfer that got him killed. What the hell was Cadero into? Right. Any luck? No. I just talked to the head of Swiss Federal Bank. Given international banking regulations, there's no way to tell where that money came from or where it went. Or if the money is even Cordero's, he could have been moving it for someone else. Sir, if this transaction was somehow responsible for Cordero's death and we can't track it, then we may never be able to find his killer. There may be another way.